Hello and welcome to another video. Saving money is a big problem for most people, simply because we love spending every penny we earn. Let's take a look today at 5 tips that will allow you to save tons of money every month. So let's jump in. Let me introduce to you 3 of my friends, Bill, John and Brandon. Bill is 25 and loves spending money. He's like most of us. He doesn't save his money because he has a stable job with a salary of $36,000 after taxes that covers all of his expenses, mortgage, car and the new iPhone he recently bought. As time goes by, Bill gets married and he becomes a father. Now instead of covering only his expenses, he has to cover his child's and probably wife's expenses as well. But his salary only has increased by 15% in the last 5 years. So now he has to cut down his spendings to be able to pay for all the necessary things. As life moves on, his salary keeps increasing, but not as much as his expenses. So after many years, Bill decides to retire, but he finds that he hasn't saved any money for that, so he's left with no other choice but to keep working. On the other side, John doesn't want to find himself in the same position of Bill when he reaches his 60s, so he decides to save 10% of his income, hoping that by the time he's 65, he can stop working and enjoy his life. After 40 years, assuming that his income increases by an average of 3% a year, he manages to save $264,385. Obviously, that's not enough money to travel the world and cover your expenses for the next 20 years or so, but at least that's way much better than Bill. Now, our third friend Brandon, who is also 25 and makes relatively similar income, realizes that saving 10% of his income is not going to make him financially free anytime soon. And if he wants to see any significant difference, he would have to wait until he's 65. So he decides to take a different approach. Instead of saving only 10% of his income, he decides to save 25%. And instead of simply saving it, he decides to invest it into an investment fund. Like his two other friends, his income increased by an average of 3%. Assuming that he keeps only investing $9,000 out of his salary, although that his income is increasing every year, in under just 10 years, his savings grows up to more than $150,000. He can withdraw that money and start his own business and maybe retire earlier, or he can simply keep it in investment fund and without saving a single penny for the rest of his life, that initial savings of $150,000 will grow up to $4.2 million by the time he retires. So compared to Bill and John, Brandon will have either retired earlier or will have an amazing retirement. What sets Brandon aside from the other two is that he knew if he would sacrifice 10 years of his life now, he will be able to live the rest of his life as he wants. So the first idea is that you should know exactly why you want to save money in the first place. A lot of people give up and stop saving because they don't see exactly why they are saving in the first place. Your goal shouldn't be to save for a great wedding or a brand new car, because once you get that car, you will go back to your previous position and still face those financial challenges again. So the ultimate goal should be to achieve the financial freedom. Tip number two, pay yourself first. Before even spending a single penny out of your income, put aside a percentage of it into your saving account. If you don't have one, then go and make one. You're not allowed to spend this money under any circumstances. No matter what you're going through, this money cannot be spent anywhere, but only can be invested. Consider it to be part of your taxes, something that you have to pay whether you like it or not. Next, know your expenses. If you're not a consistent saver, then it might be really difficult to start, especially in the first couple of months when you realize that your savings aren't growing as fast as you would want them to. So instead, know your expenses first. Spend the next 30 days writing down every transaction you make so that by the end of the month, you will have a detailed understanding of how exactly you spend your money and you can deduct your expenses in those areas that don't have a big effect on your life. For instance, instead of buying a coffee every morning, you can make that yourself and save somewhere around $50 to $70 every month. Instead of driving, use public transport to get to your job if it's more affordable and you might save another 50 to 60 bucks there. In this way, you might save a couple of hundreds of dollars every single month. Tip number four is procrastinate. Procrastination is bad, but not in this case. 
Usually, we get excited when we want to buy something new right away, even if it's something that we don't really need. But over time, that excitement goes away. It's like when you buy a new phone, in the first couple of days, you might still be excited about it. But then you know what happens, it just becomes normal. So why not get into the habit of waiting to buy things, especially expensive ones? You will still end up buying all the important things you need, but there will be plenty of times when you change your mind and hold into your cash. Use cash. Whenever you want to buy something, try to always use cash instead of a debit card. Whether you're ordering food in a restaurant or getting something from groceries, handing over a $20 bill is a lot harder than just swiping your card. Simply because when you swipe your card, it feels like you're spending a lot less. Over time, you will become a more conscious spender and you will buy more of what you need and less of what you want. So these are 5 tips that will help you to start saving money. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something helpful. If you accidentally bumped into this video, then subscribe for more similar videos. And as always, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.